It was the end of a late night in Brooklyn. One of a dozen identical early summer bar nights, the ones that all blend together because the cast of characters keep changing. Someone will be in a relationship that will end up lasting two weeks and I'll keep getting invited out by folks in their friend groups. I got used to introducing myself and pretending like they weren't flirting with me unless I wanted them to flirt with me. I don't remember the first time I saw him. He was always at the end of the table, laughing politely, but mostly listening, unless spoken to. But I remember that night that changed. The crowd had dwindled down to just a few people, and I could see he was looking at me. There was this look in his eye, a kinda, I don't know, a mischief to him. And then he asked me a question. How do you think the world will end? What? I'm sorry. Is that too weird to ask? Oh, it's definitely fucking weird. <laughs> okay, we could talk about something else. No. Fuck. You got me thinking. We operating on an ice and fire binary here? Do I need a bone up on my Robert Frost? As big or as small as you want. Reference whatever poems you need to get the job done. How gentlemanly, letting me pick my own apocalypse. I aim to please. Hmm. Okay, look out at this bar, and this city, this way of people dressing, and the way we talk, and our dumb jobs, and our dumb lives. I think this will end. It'll end slowly though. It'll crack apart, systems will break down because they're always breaking down. America won't last forever because nothing does or ever will. And we'll think that's the end of the world. Like, while it's happening, that's what we'll call it. But thousands of years later, there will still be people. It'll just be, you know, different. There's still gonna be some weird hairless monkey that thinks too much about everything. Doing dumb shit and falling in love or whatever. Oh fuck, I'm an optimist. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, it'll ruin my whole fucking allure. What do you think? How do you think the world will end? I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. But it helps to talk about it, I think. We should continue this conversation sometime. That's how I refer to it. You text me and say, do you want to continue the conversation? We get drunk and watch a stupid movie and pretend like it was research. I just got out of a long relationship. He had feelings for me. I could tell, but he never made me uncomfortable. He was needy, maybe. But I had my art and my own friends. I like to go dancing. I even invited him once. But he just stood off to the side, watching everyone, watching me. And then the text will come. I've been thinking about our conversation. And then he gave me some thoughts on nuclear war or terminators or what have you. It was like that for a while. Long text chains and late nights. It was nice. But then it stopped. And I didn't really hear from him for almost two years until I got the email. Hello, all you beautiful monsters. It's been a busy, busy few years, and we've all spread ourselves thin around the country and abroad. It's not as easy to meet up for a drink as it used to be. Even those of you I still live in the city with rarely get to see me, especially given the state of the world. I miss you all terribly, and that's something I'd like to remedy. A few days ago, a friend of my mom said that I could borrow his lake house in upstate Wisconsin for a week this summer, June 14th to the 20th. I've attached a few pictures, and I would attach more, but they're honestly too beautiful, and I think you'd all be convinced I'd made the whole thing up. But I promise you, it's real. This is important to me. This is why I've been texting all of you mysteriously about your summer schedule and plans. So no pretending you have something better to do. If you need some help with travel, let me know. If you need to be strong-armed into coming, let me know, and I'll unleash my very strong arms. I'll send a more detailed itinerary as we get closer. Walter. Hey, I know you. Oh god, he dragged you into this? I'm so sorry. What a fucking monster. <laughs> it's fine. You haven't gone inside yet. Is it not fine inside? Oh, it's fucking perfect inside. I feel like I'm selling the place even looking at it. If I had the money, I'd go to the motel off the freeway. Guess I'll stay here in paradise instead. 
My firm's second choice. I gotta scan you before you come in. This guy's weird, right? That statue looks sad for us, doesn't he? It's because he knows we're trapped here and that there's no escape. Temperature's normal, so that goes for you, too. Do I know anyone else in there? You probably know more people than I do these days. I don't get out of my horrible cave too often. What the fuck? I know. Seriously, what the fuck? It's disgusting, isn't it? I want to throw up and die now that I know this is a real place. I was looking for a TV downstairs and I found a fucking movie theater. The seats are all heated with built-in massagers. If you leave me alone in there, I think I'm gonna have a continuous orgasm until you drag me away. Sticky and horrible. <laughs> I think this is heaven. Definitely want a chair that rubs your butt till you come in heaven. Right? Hey, Ryan, I didn't know Walter invited you. I thought this was all college and high school folk. I guess not. Right on. It'll be dope. Here, let me show you the place. Uh, sure. Nora? Oh, you kids go on without me. This has all been stimulating enough. Gotta ease in. I am going to get lost in this place. I thought this was a lake house. Have you seen the lake? <gasps> Do you think there are kayaks? We can ask Walter when he gets here. I want to see if there's a bigger telescope than the one I packed. It's supposed to be clear skies all weekend. Oh, hey, Nora. Hey. Ryan, wait up. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's fucking wild. It's even more beautiful down by the water. I didn't see a single other house on the lake. I tried to look this place up on Zillow, but I couldn't get cell service down there. If anyone has cell service, I want to know what this house is worth and which billionaire owns it. Sam? I just want to know if we need to burn it down before we leave. We're not burning anything down. Wait, are you the artist? Fuck, is Reg not coming? Looks like he wasn't invited. I saw artist on the itinerary and just assumed. I really wanted to catch up with him. Hey, sorry, I'm the worst. I'm Sam. I work at the post. We have totally met before. Okay, yeah, I am definitely the worst. He seriously invited her? I thought that whole thing was over. I thought so too. I didn't think they were even talking anymore. Hello, darling. Oh, hey! It's been ages. You look incredible. No, I look like someone picked me off of the bottom of a bus seat. You look stunning. Hey, Ryan. What's your mutant name? My what? The code name you'll be using while protecting a society that hates and fears you. He's being stupid. I'm not being stupid. You're stupid. You got an itinerary with stuff about the house and your room and all that. Walter gave us silly little names and little symbols. Somebody's angry because they don't like their code name. I guess I'm the artist? Wait, you get a signal? Please pull up Zillow. Well, I guess you all found the place. I'm glad you came. Now... Who wants to test these steaks out on the grill? Ryan, I'm so very glad you've agreed to come to the house this summer. It's been more difficult to nail everyone down than I expected. The house was meant to have room for 15, but we're down to 12 coming for the week. Disappointing, but I think the others will be more disappointed in the long run. Attached to this email, you'll find all the information you need to get to the house from the airport which is simple enough. A driver will be waiting for you when you get off your flight. You'll also find a few helpful maps of the house and the grounds. I've created little name placards for everyone that will be placed around the house. I did it because I think it's fun, and also because these documents talk about the others attending, and I wanted to keep the final guest list a little mysterious. This was more of a concern with my other friends, to keep them from asking around and looping in people who weren't invited. You are the artist. Over the course of your visit, you might find a few little treats labeled with your symbol that I know you'll appreciate. Most importantly, you'll find your symbol on your bedroom. You'll be sharing a room with the writer, who I promise you know and like. 
please text if you have any questions or concerns. But I really couldn't be happier that you're going to make it. It wouldn't be the same without you. Walter. Underwear. Fucking drunk. <laughs> Not funny. What the? Holy shit. No. There's something wrong. Ryan? Everyone, shut the fuck up. There's something wrong. New York City is gone. What, what do you mean, gone? There are pictures of people burning alive all over Twitter and Instagram. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna throw up. It's not real, is it? Where's the TV in this place? This can't be real. There has to be some kind of mistake. I... I need to call my sister. She's still in Brooklyn. Rick, please. There had to be some kind of sign before it happened. People had to get out. I guess the conversation's over. You picked. What is she talking about, Walter? Just tell them. Don't pretend. I'm sorry, everyone. You can't leave. W what? There's nowhere for you to leave to. No world to go back to. Not in any way that matters. This house, this lake, the beautiful woods around us. This is what's left. The seven billion people out there are dead, or they will be dead shortly. What the fuck are you talking about, Walter? This is why I brought you here. I wanted to save you from what my people were going to do to your planet. I'm not going to explain to you what I really am, or why this was necessary. I'd rather you think of me as the man you always knew me to be. Your friend. That's why I arranged this. A corner of the world preserved for you to live out the rest of your lives in peace. You won't want for anything here. You have delicious food, alcohol, kayaks, boats, entertainment. You have this incredible house I built just for you. And you have each other. But you will never be able to leave. Put the horrors away. Open another beer. Put the music on. Relax. Nothing out there matters to you anymore. You are okay. You are all going to be okay. What the actual fuck? I know you're all hurting. But in time, you'll see this was the right call. I'll be back every now and then to toast to the old world. Until then, I hope you find it in you to enjoy yourselves. I love you all. <laughs>